Welcome to another episode of Playing Telephone. I'm Scarlett Sanchez. I'm Dennis Kluba. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy we New made Year it. 2023. Um, how, exciting. How was entering the new year for you? Uh, it was good. Like, it was good. It's just a little, a little tired. Okay. I think it's like everybody's feeling on this first week back. Yeah. It's kind of dreading that first day back in the office. Completely. Everyone's dreading it. Like, I don't know anybody that was like, yeah, this is, Yay, I'm excited. can't wait to get back at it. Yeah, and like no. the people that are firing on all cylinders right away, annoying. So me, No, I'm just kidding. Like, if it's like January 2 and you're like, come on, let's kick it off fresh. It's like, all right, no. slow your roll. Especially after like being home, being cozy. And then also like, I just came back from a trip too. So I've just you like. Were been, moving slow. I've been out of service. Yeah. <laughs> I love that term, out of service. <laughs> This is currently out of service. Uh, um, but something like actually really scary and sad happened yeah. on, was that Monday Night Football? Monday night. Um, in the NFL, the game was between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals mm-hmm. in Cincinnati, where there was seemingly like a tackle, but then a heart attack on the field. Yeah. And he got hit and then went down. DeMar Hamlin, DeMar Hamlin. is the name of the player. Yep. Yes. And he plays for the Bills. And he stood up for about a second or mm-hmm. so. Yeah. And then you just see him collapse on the field. And, you know, paramedics went out on the field to try and, you know, bring him back. Mm-hmm. And they were doing CPR for about nine, ten minutes. Yeah. And obviously they paused the game. They were debating. Obviously it's a big playoff game, right? So they were debating, like, should Not we continue it? Yet, but yeah. yeah, leading into it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh and yeah, so they ended up postponing it now. Yeah. Um, it's not going to happen this week, though. They're mm-hmm. still trying to figure that out. But obviously, his health is at the utmost importance. He's in critical condition right now. Yeah, and he's only 24. Super young. Um, he's Gosh, like so scary. a little bit more stable right now. They said His uncle said that they had to resuscitate him twice mm-hmm. to kind of get him to where he's at. The only like thing that the thing that's been really cool is that the like league obviously suspending the game, but then also kind of rallying around him as a person. Mm-hmm. They said that for his foundation, I forget what exactly the name of the foundation is, but overnight it raised like a million dollars for kids, I think, in his hometown. Okay. Or, you know, where he's from. So, like... If this is the same thing you're talking about, he was doing a toy drive. And yes. that was it. It's a GoFundMe for his toy drive. And that's like hitting five million now. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. just to think about in less than... Now it's been probably 24 hours, yeah. but... That would, and it only had 2,900 before. before the game. So, yeah, just definitely a lot of people rallying together. Obviously, everyone was extremely visibly upset when yeah. this was happening. Like, players were holding hands, like, crying on the field. Um, so, hopefully, he's going to pull out of this. Yeah, I hope so, too. And just, like, obviously, you know how scary um, football and, like, contact sports can be. Hopefully, like, it, you know, doesn't deter – there's like more rules set in place that things like this aren't happening in the game. But um, mm-hmm. all we can do is, like you said, like yeah. pray for him right now and, you know, do our best to um, try and make sure that he pulls through. Yeah, definitely with the violence. I feel like we always see concussions and, you know, that's obviously mm-hmm. common in football. But the cardiac arrest, yeah, just, Super scary. just really scary. So staying with scary things that happened recently over the new year Mm -hmm. uh commissioner owner of the ufc dana white and a bunch of other things actually had a terrible video come out at a new year's eve event Mm -hmm. where he slapped his wife is his wife yeah yeah yeah. Um, he was in cabo there he was actually at squid row and uh you could see that she was also upset and she kind of put her hands put her face in her hands and turned to him and said something to him and actually hit him in the face first and then he immediately attacked back, slapped her, slapped her again, and then oh. kind of like put his hands on her to like bring her kind of away and down almost. Yeah, it was definitely not good at all. And obviously Squid Row is full of tourists and probably mainly American tourists. Like a lot of people go there. Yeah. And not that you should do this in the privacy of your own home, but definitely so many people probably saw that and caught him on video. Yeah. And it I wouldn't say went viral, but it's definitely been out Trendy. other outlets and everything. So, and he's addressed it, said that this was kind of a weird comment. He said that my wife and I apologized to each other. I was like, okay, I guess <laughs> she, yeah, she did slap him too, but still. It's like a backhanded, like, but she provoked me. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that's not an excuse, but I'm happy for you guys. And if you see the video... This does not look like this was the first time this happened. I mean, it was such a quick boop. 
and he yeah. went right back. But yeah. he claims, you know, this was the first time, the one and only time this has ever happened. Yeah. Um, they've been married for 26 years now. Oh. They've known wow. each other since they were 12. They've gone through oh. ups and downs, have been through a lot of, you know, a lot of things in their relationship. And he was really emphasizing, which I respect this, was like just his children. He was like, we've showed them the video. We want them to know like what is going on and just know that like we are in a happy relationship. Like mm-hmm. we really had a terrible bad moment. Like yeah. I'm embarrassed. I don't want people to judge me off of this. I know they will though. Like I know people are going to talk about this. Yeah. I'm completely 100% in the wrong. Mm-hmm. So I do think he's handling the situation well. Obviously it was it's not a good video to see and you just yeah. don't want that to happen. You shouldn't put your hands on a woman, which is exactly what he said or vice versa. Kind so. of a uh, opposite approach to the Kardashians. Mm-hmm. Show your kids everything that's out there on you as opposed to shielding them from. The yeah. Truth. I mean, I feel like you should because his kids were going to find They're out. They're going to find it. out anyway. From and the kids why, on the playground. Kids on the like, playground. Unless somehow you're Kim and can somehow control that. She can control so the world. Weird. Also, I feel bad for his wife because, like, if you've seen Data White and what he looks like, you know he has fat fingers <laughs> and, like, a fat hand. So, like, that was like a, a brick. You know that hurt really <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, even when. Even when him like pulling her away, even that, I was like, that probably hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Big guy. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, with their relationship. And figure it out. It really was a one time thing. Yeah. And they they're definitely staying together is what they've said. And she's put out a statement too and said that all is good. So they're Um, good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All is good. Yep. No grudges here. How awkward is that? Like morning, the next morning, like, hey, Cabo. Like, like, I have a bruise on my face. He actually had a bruise on his face in the interview. He had a bruise? Yeah. He had like a little. He's doctored. A little bruise. Do you think he, yeah. Do you think he drew it on? Yeah. She was like, babe, can you put some purple mascara on me or oh, like yeah. some eyeshadow? Obviously, domestic violence can go both ways. I mean, we saw that with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, but. Yeah, for sure. On to some lighter news. I don't know. Recently. This weekend, amid other rumors, Angelina Jolie and Paul Mescal from other or normal people mm-hmm. was seen. This was like kind of at a coffee date, but also Angelina Jolie's daughter yeah. Shiloh was there. Yeah. So for me, I felt like it was more of a like. Okay, they went to go see him the night before in a streetcar named Desire in London, mm-hmm. doing and he was performing in the play. I felt like it was more of like a hey. Don't you think there's a chance that Shiloh's like a big fan of him and was like, hey, would you mind like getting grabbing coffee and like meeting up with yeah. and like talking to my daughter? Mm-hmm. Okay, I could see that. He's 26. Angelina Jolie is 47. Yeah. And then obviously his daughter, her daughter, 16. Mm-hmm. I, I wasn't getting intimate no. vibes. It no. was also a coffee date. They were at a cafe in London. So... It could be very just friendly, like you're saying, yeah. not romantic. I think people are really hyping this up, though, because there's a lot of split rumors going on about him and, and Phoebe, Phoebe Bridgers. Bridgers. Yeah. Um, obviously, we know Angelina Jolie is single from Brad Pitt. Yeah. So people are making a little bit of something out of nothing here. I think so, too. But it would be kind of cool. Like, it would be I would cool, love though. for Angelina Jolie to have like some kind of random fling with like a yeah. really young guy. Yeah. I think that'd be just like maybe not weekend's pretty young. long term. Oh, yeah. They kind of have the like, a little thing. Yeah. They Abel. Were- Yes, Abel. Um, <laughs> I think, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's like, and also it's the same thing too, where anytime you're meeting anybody for like a, if this is a date, it's like, you mind if I bring my daughter? Hot. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like first date, do you think we should meet? I or? feel like you should definitely meet your kids on the first date. Yeah. <laughs> All my kids. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think that that one was interesting. Paul Mescal, like you said, is having rumors about, because they, Phoebe Bridgers and him are engaged, mm-hmm. technically. But then the big thing that sparked from there was the picture of oh, yeah. Bo Burnham, Maddie Healy, and <laughs> Maddie Healy and Phoebe Bridgers kissing on the cheek. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I don't trust anything that Maddie Healy puts out about <laughs> like him in any relationships. You know, yeah. like I that like that could literally be he had a one night stand with her or nothing happened at all. Yeah. Like, there's no way you can tell what he's doing ever with anybody, I feel mm-hmm. like. Yeah, and she was giving, she was on a podcast, like, talking about, like, love advice, so everyone was tearing that apart, just trying to really look into, oh, is she talking about, like, how to get over Paul and everything, so it's not, it's not looking like they're together. I don't know. Both of them are definitely on the up, though, so it could definitely be, like, a, oh, we all just got really big. 
and they're just taking things more privately or no. they're breaking up because they're blowing up. I think they're breaking up because they're blowing up. Yeah. And it's like, both young, I didn't know about that guy literally three months ago. Yeah. So like, I mean, you know, the DMs are just popping off. I mean, this one being, I mean, Angela and Jolie. Mm-hmm. It's like he didn't, hey. he was not getting that message six months ago. No, Now no. he's like, I mean, come on. Gotta like, keep this, gotta keep yeah. this a little bit more open. He's like, let's just see, let's just see who pops in here. So I think it's like innocent, but at the same time, I definitely, like you said, him and Phoebe Bridgers could definitely be on the outs. On the outs. Seriously. That's what it's looking like. But kind of relationship baby news here. This, yeah. Yeah. Bro- I'm pumped about this, uh, Me actually. too. Brody Jenner, huge fan, huge fan. Um, <laughs> he <laughs> just announced that he's expecting his first child with his girlfriend, Tia Blanco. She's a professional yeah. surfer. Uh, yeah, they announced it on New Year's. And they shared a little video mm-hmm. of the sonogram with the heartbeat. And yeah. yeah, what? I just can't believe he's 39. Yeah. He has like always looked amazingly good for his age. But like yeah. at the same time, it's like 39. You're like, wow, that even threw me off. I knew mm-hmm. he was older. Yeah. But I was like, what? Mm-hmm. But then also I watched when like, everybody knows I watched reality TV. But like yeah. when the Hills did their resurgence, mm-hmm. I was watching like all that awkwardness between him and Caitlin. And I was just kind of like, obviously... Not an ideal situation, but I mean, how frustrated would you be? Because the big reason they split was because he did not want to have kids. Yeah. And she really wanted to have kids. Mm -hmm. So how do you, even though now she's married and has, she's about to have her second kid. Yeah. It's like, so things worked out. I mean, you're pissed, right? Okay. If I was her, yes. But also if you think about it, they broke up in 2019 after only being, they were together for several years, but they were only, they weren't even really married because they had that ceremony in Indonesia, but then it came out that they were never actually legally married. (laughs) Uh, But August, 2019, and she had her first baby in October, 2021. And then now flash forward to, he's not going to have his kid to 2023. That's still a decent amount of time to wait for her. you know, if she wanted to have a kid right now, right now, do you get what I'm saying? Like now yeah. four years later, she would still would have to be waiting. I don't think that's right. Cause it's like, okay, if you really love someone, maybe you can like compromise some mm-hmm. of your timing, but yeah. maybe she had already compromised a lot that she wanted to. Yeah. But yeah, I'd be a little bit like, okay, so you wanted to have kids at some point. You just didn't want to have babies with me. Maybe that's what I was going to say. Do you think <laughs> it's more of a, you wanted to, have, you didn't want to have kids with me. Yeah. Which is possible. But he said that she was pressuring him to have them now, which yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. And but it was kind of bad in some of the Hills episodes he's talking about how she was driving him to drink more because of that too. So, it just seemed like the relationship was just going downhill. Going downhill and they were having other issues maybe too. Yeah. I mean, what's the thing and he kind of pissed about when she rebounded with Miley too? Yeah, he was. He was about really that. mad about that. She was like, hurt. "Okay, relax, dude." Cuz we like everyone called when that was happening like this isn't lasting. Mm-hmm. This isn't real. Yeah. Like they did date for like six months, but Miley was on a tear at that well, time. Like they literally had, dating. They <laughs> both. Well, that was when they both. No, no. That was when they both broke up with their people. So yeah. she had just broken. They broke up. She broke up with Liam the same within two days yeah. of Caitlyn and Brody breaking up. So it was like, they were both on the major rebound and had their little vacation, Playing. their little European vacation. And went also with uh, Miley's sister too, Brandy. And, but I remember that letter that Caitlin wrote to Miley where it was like very deep about like falling in love for the first time. Really? I feel like maybe that's what he was a little bit pissed about. Like, okay, thanks. What the heck was our relationship? Tough. Yeah. yeah. But now they both seem to be happy. Brody and Caitlin and Miley too, living her best life. <laughs> Miley's crushing it. Yeah. She just did her new year's, her Eve. new year's Eve special, which was just slain. Yeah. With Dolly. I know. I think too, the other thing is like also, I mean, it always happens this way. I don't know how old Kaylin Carter is, but I mean, Tia Blanco, I didn't realize like she's 25. 25 is not young, young. Like, I mean, 22, 20 is like me having a baby right now. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. But like for Caitlin, I'm sure like it was like, Hey, like, I don't know why she wanted to have a baby like right then with him, but it like, it's always like a younger girl. Always. I think she's like hitting her. I think she's like 30. Caitlin. Yeah. 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 Which nobody loves a 25 year old coming in and immediately swooping. And also Brody and her have not been dating that long. They just no. started dating in April. Yeah. It was like, boom, 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 baby. Also it was so funny because, um, Brody's mom commented on, uh, 
commented on Caitlin's photo announcing that she's pregnant with her second baby. She was like, yay, congrats, and then misspelled her her man's name. Oh, and I thought that was hilarious. That was on purpose. It's like, okay, Linda. <laughs> That's on purpose. <laughs> Don't you think? I thought it was. I was dying laughing. Yeah. It's like, and you're such a good mommy. I'm like, okay. It's condescending. Right? That's condescending. AK, you're not having a baby with my son. Don't call me. No, I wouldn't want anyone calling me. Mommy? If I was a mom, I would want anyone call me mommy that isn't like my child. My baby? Yeah. Or like maybe sometimes my significant other. Yeah. You definitely don't want another woman or anybody calling you like, oh, you're such a good mommy. No, I'll, I'll go with mom. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm a good mom. Thanks. I'm a good mama. <laughs> so <laughs> gross. Speaking of gross behavior, or we'll decide, Scarlett, for whatever, has been on a tear today and is like, has harsh takes on some of these things oh gosh bad bunny was in the dominican republic was he performing do you have like a concert he just finished up his tour recently yeah so he was just chilling chilling but a fan there's a video a fan came up on <sighs> him i think it was in a lot of ways <clears throat> kind of rude she was holding the camera in his kind of in his face and like definitely wanted a selfie yeah. or like was a recording was probably recording yeah. yeah and he just just swipes that phone right out of her hand and chucks it it wasn't even like a, ugh, get that out of my hand and like drop it on the ground. He throws it across to the bushes yeah. and her face was priceless. Yeah, definitely complete shock. I think at first she thought he was going to grab the phone, grab it, take a little selfie with her and then hand it back to her. Not to no, be. No, not to no, be. that's not what happened. Uh, he got a ton of backlash. People were like, wow, don't grab her stuff. Um, yeah. You know, that's complete what's it called obstruction of property this and yeah. that and uh he defended it though he is not apologizing either yeah. he was just saying listen like if you are a true fan and you want to come up uh-huh. have a moment with me we can talk i'll happily shake your hand whatever yeah. that may be and i'll treat you with respect but when you don't treat me with respect i'm going to draw a line and i'm going to treat you the same way yeah. and that's that so he he was not feeling bad for that about at all but I don't know why, but this has been happening a lot, like with concerts recently. Like, I don't know who it was. Adam Levine. Remember when Adam Levine, oh, that was a few, couple of years ago. But yeah, but this up. year, people have thrown like a lot of phones. Mm-hmm. Like, people oh, throw them on stage. Phones. Okay. And um, my only thought is like, I think it's one thing, especially when we see things at concerts where people are being rude mm-hmm. and like throwing things on stage, like people like stopping shows and being like, hey, don't throw this or like whatever. Yeah. But, I also think that like there's some point where it's like I think Bad Bunny is so big right now because of his um, like the tour. It's like the most sold out tour. Top hits. He's the most streamed artist. Yeah. Like I just feel like a little to a certain degree his head is very big right now Mm -hmm. and feels like he can just do whatever and like there's no. Okay. I wasn't sure if he felt like his head was too big or it's feeling too big or if he just doesn't really like fan interaction. Which is hilarious to me, considering that I feel like his fan base is so, like, off the walls, like, in supporting him. It's massive. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so it's kind of like, hey, I am always have this, I always have this, like, inner argument of, like, don't be a dick to the people that are, like, selling out your shows. Yeah. I understand there is definitely a level of, like, hey, still treat me like a person. I'm not just, like, yeah. here to give you clout on your Instagram. But at the same time, like. Fans, no, I hear what you're saying. Fans needs, fans need to relax though, because we've yeah. been we've talking about this the past year. Fans throwing chicken nuggets at Harry Styles, throwing water bottles at Kid Cudi's head. I mean, the first one is funny. <laughs> the other one I was thinking of was MGK when he was in the crowd and that lady was like groping him. Grabbed his crotch. I mean, come on, people. There's boundaries. Uh, yeah. At the end of the day, they are real people, yeah. and he probably. But I don't think that how he reacted in comparison of what she did was yeah. like feels felt kind of over the top. Definitely over the top. Like she was hitting like level one and he was hitting like level 100. Like yeah. what's going on here? Did she get the phone back or like, I have no idea. I would just send him the bill, buy me a new phone and autograph it. Thanks. He would throw that one. He'd buy <laughs> it and throw it. He'd buy it, destroy it. But he's definitely not doing that considering he doesn't even want to say sorry or he doesn't think he was in the wrong at all. That's what I'm saying. The more you, like you can't bite the hand though. I, like if he like keeps being, I think this will blow over. I don't think he'll have another interaction like this. And then it'll blow over. But you know his PR team is saying to him right now, like, "Hey, uh-huh. 
Maybe that was fun. Not. Let's not do that again. Yeah. I'm a bad bunny fan, but yeah. This you're yeah, you're over you're like a fan, so I feel like you have a little bit of bias. I guess a little bit, but uh, I feel like he's doing this stuff all the time. Thinking about all the bad things that even Bieber's done or a lot of people I don't know. Jay Bizzle. Jay Bizzle. Hitting yeah. the paparazzi down. Like, okay, Jay Biebs. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You think it's gross. You think it's unacceptable. Like you want to cancel Bad Bunny over this. No, I don't want to <laughs> cancel him. I'm just like, you can't keep doing this and like people just aren't going to go to you your show. You can't keep doing this. You're acting like he does this like on a daily basis though. I mean, if you don't apologize, he's clearly saying I would do this again. <sighs> That's definitely the, the, he's like, if this happens again, like I have no qualms with just throwing it. Yeah. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. He doesn't apologize once. He's like, yeah, this happens again, no problem. He, okay, he didn't say that. But that's the, what he's giving. He's giving, yeah, treat me with respect, and I'll treat you with that same respect. Yeah, so if you treat me with disrespect, I will break your shit. Which, like, you ever know somebody that's like, like you can't just do that. No, you can't. No, you can't. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm just saying, something to keep an eye on as we go forward. All right, I'll keep an eye on Bad Bunny. Okay, but this Bad. next story was is my favorite, the only thing I want to talk about this whole time. Angela Bassett's son had to apologize <laughs> for the TikTok trend of saying that celebrities were dead. Yeah, this trend's hilarious. And basically just tricking parents and catching their reaction and then just laughing about mm-hmm. it. Yeah, a lot of people have been doing this over the holidays too. You know, everyone's home mm-hmm. and just being like, George Clooney, dead, dead. at this age. 52. <laughs> Chris Jenner, dead at this age. I was yeah. like, no! like freaking out over yeah. some um but then most people like laugh immediately right after but i think with angela bassett's son um he's 16 slater he kind of like kept it very serious for a while he said michael b jordan dead at 35 and his mom was really freaking out and same with his dad too they were just like no this can't be right this can't be right this is a joke no 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 mm-hmm. what do you um, think i thought the trend was hilarious yeah the big thing that like <clears throat> other outlets have said was the problem with it is like, for example, Angela Bassett, who co-starred in Black Panther with Chadwick Boseman. That was like we mentioned before, a mm-hmm. private battle. And so people that like really happened mm-hmm. when he passed away. It was like people didn't really know. And that was just like a news story that mm-hmm. hit. And so they were saying that like that part of it's not funny because I guess somebody that had had trauma with that before, potentially. Yeah, and she did Black Panther also with Michael B. Jordan. So imagine losing Both another really close friend yeah. that you worked on this amazing movie with. So that I do get. I think like the more outrageous it is, the funnier it is. And it's also mm-hmm. somebody that you're just not really connected to in a way. Say. But the fact that that kind of like hit home hit home for her to her for sure yeah so yeah maybe slater you could have gone with a different person, person. and it could have been really funny yeah but the ones where it's like random people that are so upset about like a celebrity that's died that they've never ever met or like had a fan interaction <laughs> with that is hilarious you will never catch me reacting like that if somebody told me i'd be like oh well that's sad R.I.P. Yeah, like I'd be like, hmm. Send me the article. We also don't have a heart. I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying that kind of stuff. I'd be like, well, you know, I didn't really know them. Some well. people though, you're like, that's really sad. What? Like, I said, Betty White, Barbara Walters, so many people. <sighs> take off. Ninety nine. Take off. Really, I was really sad about that. She was ninety nine. <laughs> take off, and I didn't know each other. I know that, but I was sad. But some like, celebrities like. Even when you don't know them, you still... You know them? No, I wasn't going to say that, but you feel for it. Mm-hmm. Like if, if Ed Sheeran passed away, I'd be like, oh man, that sucks. You know what I mean? Are you like a massive fan of Ed Sheeran? He's not bad. Okay. He's pretty good. But if Bad Bunny, you'd be like happy. You're like, good, throw his phone out too. <laughs> I'd be like, man... Didn't listen to a lot of his music. That sucks. I would be sad if Bieber died, but at this rate, everyone's has some weird freakish disease. I so it could happen. Yeah, it really could. I don't think this TikTok prank is as bad as others. As others, there's some really bad ones like slapping your teacher and that's insane. <laughs> slapping your Most teacher. Sad teachers. Like weird, like self harm ones. Eating things. Even Tide things pods. that are actually that like pretty Vine dangerous. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. This one's, I think, pretty lighthearted. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, people are dying, but it's 
supposed to be outrageous to the point where it's funny. Also, those type of articles have happened before TikTok. Yeah. Like where like people are like, did you see that so and so like Sean Kingston died off the coast of Florida with a, in a wave runner accident? Yeah, yeah. He's like, no, I'm alive. Or outlets accidentally calling someone dead. Yeah. Like Hollywood unlocked it like Queen Elizabeth died four months before she actually did. That kind of stuff is like, okay, that's funny. I don't know. The other thing that I was going to say, staying on this topic of weird things that have been happening yeah. to celebrities, we know of all the weird diseases we were talking about this year, but also over this break, and this is, I'm not, I'm going to go into this more serious because, you know, I'm trying to keep it more serious in 2023. Jeremy Renner Why? Oh over break yeah, this is terrible. was trying to help a family member not funny. out of a car. Like the, okay, he was doing a snowplow. He was yeah. helping snowplow him and his neighbor's uh, driveway. It's in Tahoe, kind of Reno area too. Yeah. And well, he gets out because a family member started talking to him and he gets run over by a snowplow. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> what? It's not, you're right. It's not funny. And he's in like he's critical in, condition. Yeah, something Critical like that. condition, but stable. Which, he's stable. Yeah. Yeah. They had a press conference about it uh-huh. earlier today, actually, on Monday. And he shared uh, photos of him in the hospital. And so it looks pretty yeah, banged up. Yeah, he looks pretty... But you have to ran admit, over his legs. You have to admit, though... Who knows how his legs are? I know. I think they might be mangled. Like, we don't know. But at the same time, this... That is ridiculous. Yes, it's a freak accident. I thought you were going to say it's hilarious. I'm like... It's not oh. hilarious. But a snowplow, why does he have it? Why is it him that's doing it? Why is this happening? Why are the weirdest things coming out this past like six months of just like, like they're not funny, right? Like we said the same thing with like Ashton Kutcher or like with um, Haley and with Justin. But it's like, what are some of these things? What is going on? Yeah. Well, and like, like I said, it's none of these diseases or like things are made up, but they almost sound like they could be because of how constant they're happening mm-hmm. and the like ridiculousness of it. Yeah. Like it's one thing, like I can remember, okay, you start about celebrities that died. Paul Walker died big. Yeah. In a car accident. That was a big one. Yeah. Massive. Car accident, you're like, okay, that stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Is it really sad and like kind of irregular? Like, yeah, potentially a snowplow mm-hmm. that does not happen every day. There's no. probably like three of those deaths a, a year in the country. And there's safeties on them too. Yeah. So now they're like investigating if there's the some snowplow. sort of malfunctions. Yeah. 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 It's just kind of wild. It is wild. It is definitely wild. I get what you're saying. <laughs> we can't, obviously we hope that it, he <laughs> recovers. I've watched him for a ton of time. He's an I Avenger. Know. He's going to recover. He's an Avenger. <laughs> he's going to recover. He's an Avenger. He's fine. He's part well, of the Well, finally, thank goodness, he posted something. I feel like people were like, where is he? What is going on? Where is Jeremy Renner? Where is he? He even said, like, this is hard for me to post. Like, I can't even, like, focus right now. Yeah. Also, like, Tahoe. It's just, like, it's such odd He circumstances. definitely owns a lot of snow plows because everything got snowed in. It, seriously, he has multiple. And he was riding them over the weekend, and he was posting them on his Instagram story. And then here we go. He's helping out a friend, his neighbor, and mm-hmm. then this happens. Think about how ridiculous that sentence sounded, though. Hmm. That Jeremy Renner owns a lot of snow plows and was riding them. They got snowed in. Into the distance. I know, but you can imagine how ridiculous this sounds. It's kind of like, like an, uh, what's it called? What are those? Mm. <clears throat> Snowmobile? No, just like RV. What? Not RV. Come on, just. You know what it is. People do them in the desert. Dune buggies. Oh, like it's kind of like four wheelers. Four wheelers, but like in snow. Yeah, but snow plows snow are plow. giant. Yeah, they are. It's <laughs> like it's just like <laughs> it's like something that like nobody has. You know, yeah. like nobody's like ah, Jeremy. My, yeah, Jeremy has it, which makes it even more ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can leave it there. Hopefully, he recovers. I think I'm just he will. He, he, yeah, he should. I don't know how what kind of condition his legs are and his chest. I mean, he went through a severe chest trauma too. So yeah, yeah definitely very Super serious. scary. Really scary. I mean, that's like you're saying, that is not something that happens often. No. So you're trying to help someone out here and then complete Your freak accident. runs you over. Yeah. Scary. Oh my gosh. All right. That about wraps it up. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us at playing telephone yes. on Instagram and TikTok. 
Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.